Is Paramount Pictures planning to release an all-female reboot of the classic 1995 movie Braveheart? No, that's not true, the story was made up by a Christian-themed satire website, it is not real. Despite that it went viral anyway, likely because many people found it funny but others may have believed it was actual news. The story originated from an article published by the Babylon Bee on December 20, 2018 titled, Braveheart, to get all-female reboot starring Lena Dunham, which opened. Quote, Los Angeles, California, classic historical drama film Braveheart is receiving a reboot by Paramount Pictures next year, this time with an all-female cast. Lena Dunham will play the starring role of Willow Wallace, a fierce Scottish she-warrior who don't need no man. Co-stars include Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, and Beyoncé. The band of female fighters will go on a brave quest to topple the patriarchy in 14th century England, attempting to establish an all-female commune in present-day Scotland. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail. Quote, Braveheart to get all-female reboot starring Lena Dunham Los Angeles, California, classic historical drama film Braveheart is receiving a reboot by Paramount Pictures next year, this time with an all-female cast, Lena Dunham will play the starring role of Willow Wallace, a fierce Scottish she-warrior who don't need no man, co-stars include Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer, and Beyoncé. The Ba, end quote. There was no trace of the announcement on the press releases and news section of Paramount's website exactly as could be expected since The Babylon Bee comes with following disclaimer on every page. Quote, the Babylon Bee is your trusted source for Christian news satire, end quote. We wrote about BabylonBee.com before, here are our most recent articles that mention the site. Fake news, California not considering tax on breathing. Fake news, Oscars committee did not announce Jordan Peterson as new host. Fake news, Hillary Clinton did not say, the only crime I ever committed was stealing the hearts of the American people. Fake news, voting machines did not fail to display candidate party affiliations during midterm elections. Fake news, Democratic Party not selling official riot supplies.